Hey Siri, öppna garagedörren. So I have a Crawford Ultra S garage port. And I have both a Miros smart garage door opener. This door opener, opener is supposed to change or um, rather replace or complement this old remote that I have. So to open my garage currently, I have the remote and I have this button by the door. So if you get inside and you push the button, there's a long cable that's running along this garage frame coming coming up here and uh, this is it so it's inserted in the port number seven which is the impulse and when you push it the garage door will open and this is the uh, antenna for the remote which you have on port a uh, eight as you can see. So the question now is, I need to take this Meros. I follow the guidelines. You just enter it into USB, you add it to HomeKit or Google Home or use their app. They have a good instructions for that. Just, uh, and what you need to do here next is this one. So these two cables need to be uh, inserted into into the impulse and I want them to work together with the button so in case someone is inside he should be able to go out by entering the button or pressing the button so my idea here is to take off this RJ uh, old phone uh, connector and um, connect those two along with uh, the existing cable and as you can see there are four colors inside there is red green blue and yellow so let's see which combination actually will make this work so i unscrewed the button and let's look at the cable inside this homemade cable so as you can see you have the black and red that is connected to the impulse meaning that when you press the button it will connect the blue and black cable uh, the black and red cable pardon me so just to make a proof of concept i've uh, connected the mirror smart garage opener like this and i've pulled the cables like that and connected them very simply so if i press the button what will happen the garage door is opened, as you can see. Now I press the button again, it should stop. And it stopped. Now, the question is, what will happen if I, if I do the same with the remote control? That works as well, because that's a separate entry. And the real question now is, what happens if I do it with the mirrors? Will it accept to be opened? So now the question is, what will happen if I start the Apple Home Kit or the Apple Home app and do the same? So I press the... Pull it down. And you can hear the relay switching or changing. Now it opens the door the problem here is that i since i haven't connected the magnet sensor here which it has this is the magnet sensor it doesn't know if uh, the app is open or, or the door is open or not so now let's do it again now that feels like magic so this means i can set up hey siri and whatnot So, let's take out the black cable and the red cable 
and connect them to the blue and brown cable and for that purpose I have this little setup so I can connect them together okay let's see here these two one and two nicely like that nice next cable let's check it out we have two of these and two of these yeah that will do so now the mirrors is connected the garage port is connected, these are the cables and I have attached them to the impulse uh, port on the Ultra S Crawford garage. So let's see what happens. What my dream scenario here now is that I should be able to open the garage port using the home app on Apple as well as my button that I have over here. So let's start with the button. What happens when I press it? The garage moves. Great. Press it again. And pull it back. And what happens when I push the garage port? Yes, and it works. Fantastic. If you look at the app, it basically says that it's open now and when you pull it close, the magnet sensor, it goes off. Away, it's open. Closed. So now we need to wire them up. So when it's in a closed position like now, there should be less than one inch or one centimeter in closeness. So when you open it, it starts moving away. Hence, it will say the garage is open. Let's try it out. The cabling here. I place the magnet sensors going here behind this bar up here on this side. It goes goes around here up here going and then it goes up up up. Let's just put it up a bit more like that. And then it comes on this side and up here. So this is the magic. Nothing is visible. And let's see here. So now I should be able to open the garage. Yes, so now it says the garage is open. Correct. So really nice and let's pull it down it says closing come on close it close it so it takes a bit let's see what happens why isn't it closing it it says it's blocked let's try again no it's not. okay so there's a slight delay i was a bit too fast to open and close it great so the next, next thing is to set up Siri. Hey Siri, open the garage door. Open the garage door. <laughs> 